everybody, it's Kelly, and I'm back with another layout. We had Happy Easter a couple of weeks ago, and now I have Happy Easter coming. Um, yeah, we're going to do that next. So I'm going to use that pink gingham paper as a base for this layout. It's from Echo Park, the Spring Collection, the Blooming Blossoms paper. And then I'm going to put this cute, wild Easter themed paper on top of it. It's from the Echo Park Celebrate Easter Collection and it's Easter Celebration. So it has all sorts of stuff going on there. So I don't want to put the photos right on top of it. So I'm going to put those on some basil white cardstock to give me a little bit of relief between the um, that crazy lovely Easter paper and the actual photos themselves. So it, this is a, a picture of the egg hunt, a couple pictures of the egg hunt, and then the kids enjoying their spoils from their Easter baskets or, you know, going through them. So I thought that was really cute. And oh my gosh, I'm looking at the picture of my granddaughter there who's on the top left. She is so tiny there. And this was only a year ago. It's amazing how they grow. She had just turned three at this point and now she has just turned four by the time you um, see this. It's crazy how they grow. Anyway, so I am actually taking my um, vintage photo Tim Holtz ink and I'm just putting a little bit of an edge on that paper, that Celebrate Easter paper, just to pop it off the background of the gingham just a little bit. I'm not going to do that with the photo mat. I'm going to leave the photo mat clean because otherwise I think it's going to look too brown. I wanted just a shadow. I didn't want anything more than that. And the baskets in this um, that pattern paper are brown, so that's why I did brown. So now I um, have that bunny sticker there that says funny bunny that I want to use, but I'm going to set that aside because I think I need something else yet to balance that. And I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to find a cut apart here from the Echo Park Happy Easter, Happy Easter paper as well. And that's what's sitting right there. And then I just grabbed a couple of more little phrases that I thought I might like to use. Um, they say things like egg hunt and chocolate and that kind of thing. So just kind of planning on that, you know, looking at that. So that um, egg hunt comes from the Bella Boulevard Simply Spring Treasures and Tech Sheet. So now I'm just going to fussy cut that happy Easter speech bubble there. And that becomes a title, but I think it works really well. Um, and it's just kind of really nice focus so that I'm, I've got a really nice balance on both sides. Then I am going to cut apart um, this Easter basket. So I'm making the three by four cut apart actually work for me even better by cutting up the basket. And I think this is the third basket like this that I've cut apart. I have one on a layout for myself and I have another one on a layout for them, I think from 2020. And I've never used the three by four card. I've always cut it off because I think it's a darling little embellishment. And half the time I just don't, because of all the Easter pictures, I don't have room to put that whole three by four card. And that's fine. It's great if you are uh, pocket scrapbooking because it, it would be a really cute card in there. But I'm having a hard time using it that way. So I'm going to do it this way. Um, I think I've talked about this with fussy cutting. Make sure you just hold your elbow right against your side and then move the piece, not the scissors. And that will help you get straighter lines, especially when you're doing a curve, like the curve I have curves I have there. They're not perfect, but I'm getting to be a much better fussy cutter, even though that is not my absolute favorite thing in the world. So now I'm adding the Tim Holtz ink to these as well, just to give them a little bit of a shadow. And I needed to kind of get the spacing on this figured out from side to side before I could glue the photos down because I have fairly large pieces as embellishments here, which I think is good. If I had small ones, I think they would get lost because of the pattern in the background. So I needed a bigger embellishment and that's what I did here. All right. So my ATG is giving me fits here. Okay. So I'm just looking to see that's, I actually think that's again, looking at that's where egg hunt came from. I end up, not to spoil this, but I end up not using any of those stickers on the right side. Because once I found Egg Hunt and kind of just, I like that sitting right in the middle because it 
it helps you define the edges of each of those photos there, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. Again, kind of looking to see if I can use any other stickers here. And I find, this is that Treasures and Text Sheet from Bella Boulevard. I find these two cute little banner stickers. One is a chick and one is a carrot. So that gives me like a third area for embellishments there. But, you know, they're pretty tiny. And that's what I was saying about them getting lost. They do blend a bit into that pattern. Fortunately, they're on a white background. So that does help a little bit. Thought about using some hearts and then decided not to do that. So I am going back and using some green... Um, enamel dots there these actually happen to be from the doodlebug sprinkles collection the limeade um dots there and i i've taken some of my dots off but these are some of the originals from that sheet where i had just a few i'm finding it much better i tend to think in color and i don't often use multiple color enamel dots i usually use one or um, one color when i do that and if i don't do that i'll use um, three different ones, but I, I tend to like all the same color. It's just, that's just my thing. There's nothing good, bad, or anyway, good, bad, smart, whatever. W again here, toying, I'm toying with using yellow and pink enamel dots and bringing in some more of the color from the background, but I don't like it as I try it. So I go back to using the green. All right, everybody, here is the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.